And we're back! After having gotten back here, I attempted to record a co- uh, well not co-op, a guest commentary thing, and it didn't... I couldn't separate their sound from the game audio, so I couldn't tinker with some feedback they had, and... So the bottom line is, I've solved up to a point, so unfortunately this may not be as interesting as it might have been watching me stumble through things, but... If you remember, that doorway led to... DEATH! This doorway, however, leads to this. A conspicuous dead end, or inconspicuous, or... Yeah, it's a dead end. And this doorway... leads us right back to this room. You may have noticed these slabs. First time I thought it was like push them in front of the door, but it's actually more interesting than that. What that? Uh oh. Scratch one Nazi. <laughs> He's unconscious or dead. Yeah, I'll be happening a lot. He's got nothing I can use. I forgot to search all the bodies my first time I did this, and it took a while for me to figure out what was going on. Shouldn't you be with the other foreign advisor? And where's Hans? I'll show you where. And yes, this is Franz, and... I am not going down here. He doesn't have anything interesting. I beat him without any trouble last time. He must just be full of fail today. Right through that door is a super Nazi. Through this door... Hey, you! No civilians allowed in here! There's another Nazi. Now wait a minute. Why aren't you at your post? What do you mean, I am at my post? I think... What happened to my health, anyway? It, like, didn't heal. <laughs> that is best game over. Best game over ever. But yeah, I've got some saves past this point since. What that? Uh oh. Scratch I can't one. Do Nazi. Better on friends this time. Shouldn't you be with the other foreign advisor? And where's Hans? Other foreign advisor? Yeah, that obnoxious hot good woman. Ach, how do I know you're really part of Colonel's expedition? You don't. There's gotta be some better way to do this besides... I mean, I understand the power meter and all that. Just, I mean, look at that. I nearly died that time. It just seems so sporadic and random. Let's go through this one and see if there's a different guy from Otto. I forget how where this comes from. Hey, it's you. a loop. Yeah, obviously. No civilians allowed in here. Now, wait a minute. You can say some hilarious things to the Nazis, though. Like this. Your shoelace is untied. Where? Wait! These boots don't have any lasers! Nothing useful here. Is that a chasm of any note? No, it's just a chasm. 
you know, there's a lot of pointless Nazi fights in here, and... Guard fight! The next generation! What are you doing here? Franz sent me. You expect me to believe that? Believe this. Oh, Carl. I wonder if he's actually a filthy commie. I'll have to check his marks after this. He's got nothing I can use. I think there's yet another through here. Come forward! You! Explain yourself won't be quick. I'm looking for a patsy, and here you are. What is this patsy? You are. It's written all over you. I swear there's no way to... I mean, I know this is the fist path, but it almost seems a shame that you can't confuse some of these guys with abject stupidity. Despite how awesome that is, you know. He's got nothing I can use. That is a Nazi that is next to impossible to beat. That is a large spiky object. It looks dangerously loose. Phew, a Stone Age weapon for a Stone Age guy. Mm <laughs> hmm. Yeah, he, he's one of a couple Nazis that you cannot beat. No, I mean, aside from being some kind of dumb luck combat god thing. He doesn't have anything interesting. Sure is heavy. And yet you just stuck it in your pocket. Godimas Igitor. Godimas Igitor. Now I've already got a save for... Father and I go a wandering amongst our mountains high. Yes, that's a guy doing a bad Schwarzenegger impersonation in there. I've already got a save for this point, so I don't need to save to show it off. Father and I go a wandering for the shark has many teeth, dear. On the shores, damn pearly white. This is Arnold. Yo there, Americana. Come and see. I won't hurt you. No, any good drinking tunes? Maybe. Let me think. Now this one, he most assuredly won't know. Which will piss him off. He's in the heart of Texas. Hey, that's a good cool one. I'll be on your way. He knew that? Hey, how did he know that one? I... God, he must is it to say all alone. Achtung! No, any more songs? Gee, tough question. Here we go. This will take him off. Yankee Doodle Dandy? Never heard of it. Now I'll have to amuse myself by tearing your head off. Try singing so long it's been good to know you. Oh, wait, that... Oh, then I give a little... I... Little the Americana returns. Confuse. Brain... I just want to get into an impossible fight! I keep turning up like a bad fennec. Uh, here we go. Yeah, look at this. We can't... Yeah. Ha! That dirty American thing won't work on me. Ha! You might as well give up. Ha! You Sucker might punching as give up. won't work. How did I do that? Oh, then I go He's got an amusing Give death. How can I, I can't... Kind of I just want to lose! 
I think I must be lost. There we go. That wasn't so hard, was it, Dr. Jones? Yes, a world-famous opera singer. And here we are with that save. Now, the pro way to solve this... He's down there. We got a giant rock up God here. Must it, uh, I go the ring. It's too heavy. I need some leverage. Fortunately, Lord we've Lord got Lord. a wedge. I'll just lever this thing over the edge and... Oh no, the stalactite shattered. Looks like I'm trapped. Lord Lord yes, Lord. Now, now that's why you have a way to... Get away from him. So. All alone. You're there, Americana. Come and see. I won't hurt you. No, any good drinking, John? Maybe. Let me think. When the saints go marching in? Ah, that's a good one. I'll be on your way. He's too plastered to care unless you annoy him. And humor him. Now this room doesn't look any different, but... That boulder is wedged into the doorway. It's time for our good old friend, the ship rib. Well, that broke the ship rib. But it worked. Yeah, we, we lose our ship rib. Ouch. Poor ship rib. Let's have a moment of silence. Not not for Arnold here, but the ship rib. I mean. Hmm, there's an amber fish on a string in his pocket. He also had a couple of oracalcum beads. Door move. And here we well, are in the map room. Either Atlantis is a lot smaller than I thought, or I've found some kind of map or scale model. Laid out just as Plato described it, in three concentric circles. Now, so, since we don't have a world stone, obviously, the amber fish on a string is necessary. I'll save you having to watch me try it in every room and just go to the one where it works. Because that, that is the downside to having tried to do a cooperative thing. And failing. The Oracalcum is now in the box. And now, we can use our emberfish on a string. Well, that's funny. It's pointing downward. Indeed. There's a pit here. Anybody home? Home! Echo? Echo! Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. I got a good echo. Hey, down there. Indy, is that you? <gasps> I was asleep. What a strange echo. It sounds just like Sophia. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm laughing. Now get me out of here. Okay, sit tight. Picky, picky, picky. Too bad we don't have anything she can grab onto. Oh wait, we do. Thanks. I guess you finally got on Kerner's nerves, huh? I don't want to talk about it, but look what I found down there. It's the World Stone Sternhardt nabbed in Tikal. Very good, Doctor. And now she is following us. Stock, stock, stock.
I wonder what she thinks of all these horrifically maimed Nazis. I mean, there's the unconscious one, then the one impaled in the back, and then the one crushed by a giant boulder. I mean, seriously, man. And the solution is the same as it ever was, because I am using the same save file for decision, so... And I just totally screwed that up, and... The clicking here is not always as completely precise as it ought to be. Oh, right, don't want to forget these. Da -da -da -da. Door to door. Sophia, take a look at this. Hmm, according to the inscription, the arrow on this pedestal is pointing north towards the lesser colony of Atlantis. The nearest landmass up north is a volcanic island called Thera. Well then, that's our next stop. This convenient exit that no one has ever noticed before in the side of a cliff. Let's move on. At least we're in a straight line this time. Here we are, Thera. The whole island is the rim of an extinct volcano. There's a Greek scholar named Maranathos who claims the place exploded in 1600 BC and wiped out civilization all over the Mediterranean. Kind of like Krakatoa. Exactly. Only bigger. Maybe it wiped out Atlantis as well. It's useless to speculate. What's our plan? Plan? I don't have a plan? Plan? I don't have a plan. Come on, Jones. We need one. I don't know. What do you want to do? I think Atlantis is somewhere out there underwater. I think we should hire a boat. Yes, she is, as always, annoyingly right. Ahoy there! Ahoy yourself! If it's salvage work you need, I'm your man. No job too big, no job too small. Have you seen any suspicious visitors? I did see some German gentlemen a while back, but not recently. You ever hear of Atlantis? Of course, and dragons and mermaids and... Uh... I want to go there. Can you take us? <laughs> to Atlantis? I can't go anywhere that's not marked on my charts. Where exactly do you expect to find it? I'm sure it's in the lost dialogue Don, somewhere. I can't remember. In that case, I can't help you. Yes. The lesser, so that would be like twenty four miles to the south here. Ahoy there. You again. What do you want? Can you take us to Atlantis? If I knew where it was, I could. Where exactly do you want to go? 24 miles from here. In what direction? South of Thera. Do you know where that puts us? Since you don't seem to know, I'll tell you. In the middle of the ocean. Exactly! 
you have a diving suit or something? Yes, but there's a hole in it. Are you sure you know what you are doing? Yes, of course. All right, Mr. All-American Explorer type, let's find Atlantis. Just remember, if it sank like they said it did, I claim the selfish rights. <laughs> Avast, you lovers. We've arrived. Are you sure? Exactly where you wanted to go. There's a diving suit in one of the lockers. The rest is up to you. Aren't you going to help? I'm against helping anyone into an early grave. From now on, you're on your own. That's fair. It's a convenient place to stow things. It's too heavy to pick up and move around. It's an old diving suit. Uh-oh, there's a small hole in it. I don't think that'll work. How can we fix a small hole? It's a device to lift heavy objects. It's an air compressor. I think there's probably something back at the pier I missed. Hello? What can I do for you? Give us a or few more minutes. Or possibly in that container you say door so? here. Let's see. Where's that a door? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything I've missed here. Hey, up there. What can I do for you? Take us back to Thera, please. Couldn't find the secret city? Too bad, I was hoping to dredge up a fortune. I don't know why I let you hook me into that trip. It's the lure of the unknown, take my word for it. Let's see here. Here we are again. Ah! Hey! Where are you going? Nowhere, I'm just checking the top of this hill. Going? Uh. I'm off to see the sights. I'll wait here. <sighs> okay, so we can go up here. It's, we're in a King's Quest game now, it feels like. It's a plain old empty wooden box. I can't pick that up. Ooh, a tire repair kit. That seems... It's a tire repair not kit. Not in the least bit contrived. Maybe we need the tires, too. It's a German army truck with a missing tire. Kerner must have been here. Oh, there's a collapsed entrance, I see. Looks like the collapsed entrance to an underground chamber. Who knows, maybe it led straight to Atlantis. Aha! 
So that was where the Glesser Colony was. It's just kind of broke. I think that's how you get there on the Wits Path, actually. Hence is maybe it led straight to Atlantis comment. We have to talk to her and tell her we're good now. Listen, Sophia. What's on your mind? I wonder what Kerner found up in the hills. I've read there were tunnels connecting Atlantis to her colonies. Maybe he found one. Looks like we're in a real race. Just like a deranged Minecraft player will connect all of their buildings to get all of their structures together with underground tunnels to avoid the creepers. What a wreck. Ahoy there. You again. What do you want? Let's go. I can fix the suit. Fine by me. Where are we going? 24 miles from here. In what direction? South of Thera. Are you sure you know what you are doing? Yes, of course. I guess we can try again, if we get lucky, Alberich. Yeah, it's not like he's doing much of anything else at the moment. All right, we're in position. Exactly where you requested. Go to it. Use tire repair kit with punctured. There, there. good that as is new, it. almost. I'm not putting that on. There's no air supply. Well, that doesn't seem to work. It's an air compressor. Oh. I can't move at all in this thing. You'll have to get me into the water, Sophia. <laughs> Better turn that compressor on first. Wow, thank you, Sophia. Watch that hook. Okay, okay. Hey, what happened? Don't stop. Atlantis is right below me. Uh-oh. What's that shadow pulling alongside the boat? Kerner! Perfect. Another slimy creature oozing up from the depths. Now, now, Fräulein Hapgood, I have no wish to shoot you. Don't make me change my mind. What mind? <laughs> I see you've acquired some bad manners from your friend Charles. Where is he, may I ask? Back on Thera. You'll never find him. Really? What do you say, Captain? I brought them both like you told me, Herr Colonel. I tried to keep Jones from diving, but he's a very determined man. Bastard. Now he's a dead man. One rude archaeologist is quite enough for my purposes. I may be saving quickly. Whoa! I have no control. Oh boy, I've got maybe three minutes of air in my suit. Better start hiking. I don't want to lose. I haven't saved recently enough. Nothing. That's cave two, apparently. Nothing. Uh, nothing. They're all over. <coughs> nothing. Problem is, none of these look distinct or... Uh, sure feels good to be out of that diving suit. Huh. 
I know where we are. Amazing. I must be hundreds of feet below sea level, yet there's enough air pressure to keep the water out. It's impossible. Except if that were really true, I'd be dead. Maybe you are dead, Dr. Jones. Or maybe you're in Atlantis. I think the way it was, I like got to the entrant, the thing entered and whatnot, and then we cut off in the labyrinth. So I'll just push on. It feels like a ladder. It feels like a steep, rocky incline. The ladder is in place. It feels like a stone box. I can't oh, pick yeah, that up. You open it. It's open. It's a metal rod with an opening on one end. And voila! And of course we have the penultimate puzzle with these things. Aside from the annoying busy work with them later to make sure you've got them. Now of course the solution is theoretically the same. However, the entrance to Atlantis itself yields only to contrary I didn't see it do minds. Anything. See what I mean when I say these things aren't exactly precise? It's like... The mouth of the statue opened! All of the stuff! Those of you going on to my final video will note I don't have this in the final video because I'm stupid, but... Welcome to Atlantis. I'll see you next time, everyone. Later.